Hey folks, this is Josh, Stony Ridge Farmer. Welcome back to another live stream Wednesday night live here on the Stony Ridge Farm. I'm getting all the uh, stuff situated right here. This is an interactive live stream, guys. So welcome to the channel. We'll be interacting with people that are in here talking to us. It's going to be a good time. Hopefully everybody's not in church right now. I know this is Wednesday night. It's kind of the thing. So welcome welcome everybody i hope you're all doing very well grab my gatorade it has been extremely hot here extremely hot i don't even know how to describe it it's definitely not october weather that's for sure so give a few people a little bit of time to get in here it says 10 people are in here there we go big bud productions in the house welcome everybody welcome welcome uh, got a lot of fun stuff to cover and I've left my piece of paper inside the house that uh, tells me all the fun stuff that I want to talk about today. <laughs> so if you're catching this after the fact guys welcome again please jump in and follow us on Facebook if you're not already following us we've got some giveaways to do tonight we've got some fun stuff we've got a cat hey kitty <laughs> down here on the bottom of the <laughs> if you see the tripod move there's a cat down there, kitty cat. Trouble, trouble the kitty. SLC Farms, $4.99 Super Chat. Thank you so, so very much. Um, guys, first of all, I want to give a big shout out to my friends at Liberty Overalls. They sent me a nice, shiny, brand new pair of overalls. And tonight, we're going to give away two pairs of overalls. We're going to give away one on the live stream, and we're going to go give away one over on Facebook. So, if you're coming in here late, if you're coming in after the fact or after the video is over, go over to Facebook and just say hello. That's all you have to do. Tell me why you like the Stony Ridge Farm. Leave a comment over there on Facebook, on the Stony Ridge Farm Facebook, and you'll be entered to win. And tonight we're going to do a giveaway on these, and we're going to do a giveaway uh, two super clean prize packs tonight too. So we're going to have some fun. We're going to give away some fun stuff. So that's what it's all about. These people, uh, so you guys know... The, these people reach out to me and the first question I ask is will you participate in some giveaways will you give coupon codes will you help out will you help my viewers out because I think we all deserve a little something so if you can watch the channel let me get this cat ah, dang it <laughs> if we can get a little something free and something cool from the Stony Ridge Farm channel hey why not do it uh, new merch is out the new shirts are out new merchandise so Work very hard to keep new fun stuff all the time uh, going over on the merch store. Down below in the video description, there's a, a link to Bonfire's website. These are the new shirt designs. And this is going to be all my sales pitch stuff for the, for the video, but I want you to see it. I don't want you to just see me wearing it and be like, man, where did you get that? So this is our support veteran farmers. Life is better at three miles per hour shirt. And that looks way too big for me. This is a double X. Uh, these shirts fit very nice. I like them. Again, check it out. This is the design. Life is better at three miles per hour. There's links over on Facebook. I just posted. And you can go down below in the video description. Sweet Haven, $4.99, super chat. Hold on. Woo! <laughs> Hear the echo? <laughs> Good stuff. Beautiful sunset back here behind us. Uh, the other new shirt design for all you folks that are big fans of the Willis Jeep restoration job, it's it's here. It's in the shop. It's right there. And it's hot. And I got mowing to do. But I won't have mowing to do all winter. And it won't be hot all winter. So this is the Don't Touch My Willis shirt. And it's got a woo. And then it says Stony Ridge Farmer YouTube channel down there at the bottom. It's got a little bit of shout out to Merca. So jump in there buy one if you want if you don't no that's that's all i gotta say they're available for a limited time at bonfire.com the way this works is i give them a design an idea we come up with a concept kind of behind the scenes while i'm not mowing while i'm not videoing i come up with a design and we all work together and we get it printed and those guys handle all the shipping and everything because i can't i just can't handle it all so um typically i you know I, I'm trying to earn money from YouTube, and uh, I'm being honest with you, so I hope you can appreciate that. But we're trying to earn money here from YouTube with creativity and work and teaching and everything like that. So 
on each shirt. If I sell, say, 10 shirts, I'll probably make somewhere in the neighborhood of three bucks. If I sell 50 shirts, I might make nine or 10 bucks. So that's per shirt, okay? So that's that's how it all works. So just so you know, okay? So Bill Martin says, thank God we got the rain. Bill, I didn't get any rain here, man. We had enough to just wet the bottom of a bucket. So it's it's just bad. It's really, really dry. However, a solution for the dry problem is coming up in a future video. We've got a pump to pump out of the pond. We've got some irrigation stuff we're gonna set up around the pond and get that grass growing before we start getting these downpours and we start having washing issues. So we don't want erosion issues. Um, Bill got it on Monday. It's bone dry in South Carolina. Yeah, it's dry and hot, but cool weather's coming. 70s all week next week. <laughs> Thank goodness. Hey, let's talk about the weather. <laughs> Good stuff. Somebody says, have you fixed your baler yet? Stand by. T. No. <laughs> but here's the parts. <laughs> so we've got in this bag, in this wonderful bag. I know I'm going to forget something I want to talk about today, guys. But we're having fun. That's what it's all about. He said, woo for the 70s. Woo. <laughs> so this is, oh, it's not in a box I can reclose, but that's okay. This is what caused the fire. This is the cause of the fire, this little bearing right here. So better spin. <laughs> yeah, it spins. Uh, hopefully I didn't wallow the shaft too awfully bad. Uh, the bearing was, this, this entire bearing was completely ate up. Uh, this bag of goodies cost me 99 bucks. I went on and got the bearing for the other side uh, Because I think it's just smart to go on and do both of them while I'm in there. That is a bearing that fits most of All the rollers inside that machine. So inside that John Deere 385 baler cats all around me <laughs> Mark Davis 299 super chat Woo! from Tasmania, Australia That's awesome, man and Mike Morgan and his beautiful wife have sent me a $20 super chat. 20 bucks toward the willies. I need 20 bucks towards <laughs> the John Deere, man. Um, guys, can you believe... I, I hadn't checked my comments in like two days. Robert Henson, $1.99 super chat. Hope to see you at Homesteaders of America conference. Yes, true. Homesteaders of America. Big shout out to those guys in two weeks two weeks next weekend not this weekend but the weekend after next we will be at the homesteaders of america conference i'll be there mrs stony ridge is staying here and we've got some family that's going to be staying here with her and to look after <laughs> said broke arm uh part of our family uh, uh has the last name smith and the other part of the family has the last name of wesson and uh both those family members will be here with her as well as her dad so that'll be nice so uh, Mrs. Smith and Mr. Wesson will also be here with her. Farm life, baby. Sweet Haven, 999 Super Chat. Tell Mrs. Stony Ridge howdy. Hope she's better. She's good. She's in the shower right now with a garbage bag on her arm. She goes back to the doctor. Uh, before we tell you guys this, this story about this comment, let's talk about her. So she goes back to the doctor tomorrow to see if she needs surgery on this wrist, which is so unfortunate. Uh, how all this happened is just such a just an unfortunate thing. She was trying to do a good thing and she was trying to help me out uh, while I was over there mowing hay. She was trying to do what she does, just helping me out and just unfortunate that the dog just kind of ran out in front of her, bumped into her. It's not like the dog went, Rah! but it just bumped her in, into her and she landed just right. So just unfortunate. I hate that. Did I catch everybody's super chats? Thank you. Thank you again, uh, Mike Morgan. Welcome. If you guys aren't fans of Mike Morgan's channel, go check out Outdoors with the Morgans. Is it Outdoors with the Morgans? Don't let me screw it up. Yeah, Outdoors with the Morgans. We're going to be up there. He is in Pennsylvania. He's what we call a Yankee around these parts. <laughs> For some reason, we still refer to Northerners as Yankees down here. I don't know if you guys refer to us as Southerners. Mike, tell me. What do you refer to uh, people from the South besides uh, derogatory terms? <laughs> I don't think Yankee is really a, a derogatory term. We, I was in the, uh, the store to buy another shed like this for putting hay in. 
and uh, got to talking. They said, yeah, somebody came in here uh, with the... Somebody came in here with the... I lost my train of thought. Somebody came in here and mentioned you, and I said, was he a Yankee? And I was like, yep, that's Steve, my buddy Steve. So, Outdoors with the Morgans. I have never, ever made anyone a moderator on the channel, and I just made you a moderator. Awesome, awesome stuff. So we're going to go up there to PA, unless we can get him to come down here. He's busy, I'm busy, we're both really, really busy dudes. But he's got a great channel, and he's doing some fun stuff. A lot of woodsman-type stuff, chainsaws and stuff like that. It's cooler up there. I think his gut is smaller than mine, but I'm not sure. So when we get up there, we'll do a full-on gut measurement to make sure that I'm not just being a wuss and not getting in the woods when it's 95 degrees and 90,000% humidity down here. So <laughs> good stuff. Appreciate the honesty. Great stuff. Keep it something, something, something. I want to save money guy. Thank you. Thank you. Do you sell merchandise to the Netherlands? I don't know, man. You can get on the website and check it out. So it's, it's not me. I don't have time. I don't have time to warehouse. I don't have time to pack it. I don't have time to ship it. And that's what we're really working on is getting hats, this style hat once again. Uh, so I've really got a, I've got to set aside some time, uh, and, and enable e-commerce on my website. So behind the scenes in order to sell hats, which I really, really want to do, man. I want to make a cool hat for everybody. Um, in order to sell hats, it's going to cost me close to either a thousand or fifteen hundred bucks to get started selling hats. So bear with me, please, because I want to sell hats and I want to ship them to you and I want the best quality for you. So please bear with me if, if that's what you want. Yep. Robert Hemerson, Front Royal, Virginia is where Homesteaders of America will be. I couldn't think of it just now. Tony Smith says $20 to Mr. Deer. Mr. Deer thanks you. Thanks you dearly. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. I almost just got every bearing in the whole baler and uh, and just was going to just do a full rebuild. It's got all new belts on it before I bought it. So it's, the belts are good to go. So yeah. Gary S. Did you sell the $100 truck? Yes, I did. Those shirts are still available and will be pulled down off of the Bonfire website at some point. Uh, I did sell the $100 pickup truck. It was sitting here in the driveway. I was paying insurance on it. I drove it. I mean, like last in the last month I had it, I probably drove it 22 miles. I was just driving it to just keep fluids moving and stuff in it. A great prop for sure, but not something that I was using. And if you guys haven't noticed, I've been getting rid of stuff. I've, I've been trying to tighten it up a little bit. I, uh, how to, how to really say this? I haven't gone a five day period without posting a video in three years. That weighs heavy on somebody that weighs heavy on me. It, it weighs heavy on Mrs. Stony Ridge. It weighs heavy on the farm. It, it weighs heavy. Uh, it, it's, it's just a lot to do. So, um, at some point here in the next few weeks, I'm going to take a week off. I'm going to try <laughs> to take a week off. Uh, so are we going to see more videos of the 454 truck? Most likely. You can suspend the insurance if you don't use it on the road. I can, but then I can't drive it anywhere. So what good is having a pickup truck that I can't drive anywhere and I've got a gator and I've got a, a just... A, I'm trying to get rid of some things that we don't use. So we'll be moving some things around, selling some stuff, buying some stuff. Uh, just bought another, dang it, dropped my sunglasses. Uh, just picked up another tractor, a Massey Ferguson 65. Uh, I think they made those between the years of 1958 and 1964. It's not running. It is stuck. The rear end is froze up on it. And somebody said I deserve a vacation. This is fun to me, though, too. It really is, and I enjoy making the videos. If I didn't enjoy it, I wouldn't be doing it. I absolutely love what I'm doing here, and I love building this farm. Um, however, we got a new tractor. We'll get some videos out in a few weeks. Uh, coming soon on that. Somebody else left a $20 super chat. Tony Smith. Oh, yep, I already th thank you. I appreciate it, buddy. <sighs> Buying toys is fun. It is fun. Part of having a YouTube channel, part of having this farm, is enjoying teaching, learning, growing, building, and also turning in equipment and seeing new stuff and fun stuff. That's what this 
thing is all about. I'm, the channel is different than anybody else's channel out there, and I think that's what attracts most people to it because there's new stuff coming in all the time. There's old stuff coming in all the time. There, um, you know, I want, I've been looking for a Model A Ford pickup all over. I want a Model A Ford pickup, and I've been looking for one, so we're selling off some stuff. Might be silly to sell a Super Sport 454 pickup, Mosquito, um, to buy a Model A truck, but man, I've been I've been looking for one pretty hard. I want to put around on a Model A and go get firewood with it and have some fun. So, and then we'll have it for a little while and we'll get rid of it. So, will the Massey Ferguson work with your attachments? I don't know, man. That gone thing don't run yet. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. It it should. It's a you know standard three point live PTO tractor. So. Hi from West Limerick, Ireland. Hello. Hello, Ireland. I've been to Shannon, Ireland. I was there for about 30 minutes, long enough to drink a Guinness and get on a plane and head to Saudi Arabia. So, how's popcorn doing? Been away for a while. Dan, we talked about popcorn a little earlier. Dan, get yourself a popcorn shirt, man. <laughs> Goodbye. So, we've got new shirts to say, don't mess with my Willis. Uh, popcorn's good. It's Weather's cooling down, farm's settling down, more shop stuff, more tool stuff, more uh, inside stuff, more building. Uh, we got to build a hog lot. We've got to finish up the rest of the fence. Uh, a lot more stuff going on. I don't sit still. There ain't no moss growing anywhere around me. I can tell you that right now. So, what's the, the small yellow roof in the background? Uh, you're talking about that right there, that right there. That's the chicken coop, and it's actually red. It just looks yellow because the sun's reflecting on it. Uh, TF, you and Mrs. Stony Ridge need time for yourself. We do need some time for ourselves, and we're going to take some time sometime soon. Uh, you deserve a, a Caterpillar compact track loader. Send that message to Caterpillar. <laughs> hey, Stony Ridge Farmer. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. MJ, any update? on the barn with Cleary. I have no idea at all what, what you're talking about. I'm sorry. On the barn? Am I just, maybe I can't read? I don't know. <laughs> uh, do a video on the Baylor repair. Yeah, man, you know it, you know it's coming. Okay, which brings me to the nasty comment that another Homestead channel on YouTube, there's a cat. Hey, kitty. Hey, kitty. I got him. <laughs> this is Trouble. Oh, oh, Trouble doesn't like Gatorade. Come on, Trouble. There you go. This is Trouble. Hey, Trouble. <laughs> um, and Buddy wants to come over. Go lay down, boy. Go lay down. So, uh, yes, we're going to repair the Baylor. The nasty comment that was left by another YouTube channel. And they had like 10,000 subscribers. They're like a homesteader channel. Bed. Bed. Talking to my dog. Go to bed. Um, she left a nasty comment on my channel saying it was fake, that I faked the Baylor fire. Why would I fake the Baylor fire? Why would I give recognition to my local fire department and fake a Baylor fire? So, just so you know, if you say something like that on my channel, you're never ever going to leave a comment again. I, I don't understand that. I, I don't understand that. Trouble Kitty is a cute kitty. Sweet Haven 5. I work for Carolina Cat, and I can get you a good discount, says Chris Travis. Nice, buddy. I want to go down there and rent a forestry mulcher and have some fun, man. That's what I want to discount on. Maybe that we can work something out where we can do an ad for those guys. <laughs> want to grind up some rocks on the Stony Ridge Farm? Come to Carolina Caterpillar. <laughs> it says, Welker Farms sold one of the Model Ts they have. Might get in touch with YouTube. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know about Welker Farms. I might have to check them out. Multiple Baylor fires on YouTube, says BC Grittner. BC Grittner, thank you for what you sent me in the mail the other day. I was going to do mail call uh, today, but I'm going to wait till next week. I've got a bunch of stuff. BC Grittner sent me some stuff. Uh, another couple people sent me some things. And I decided that in every video down at the bottom... There, there will be a P.O. box if you guys want to send stuff, and we'll try to do a mail call like once a month if we possibly can. Uh, so please send useful things if you do, or a letter just saying, you know, 
if, if you're a classroom, send a picture of the class if you want to or whatever. Just let me know what you like. You don't have to send anything. Um, but receiving fan mail is, is pretty fun. I, I have a good time with it. North Country Off Grid. Hey, buddy. Chad with North Country Off Grid is going to be running for uh, some sort of office up there in Idaho. <laughs> North Country Off Grid says send $100 bills. No, you don't have to do that. You don't have to do that. Good evening. How are you and the family, Greg? We're doing good. Can you do a full farm tour, says Zachary Salstrom. Man, I can. I've done a couple. Oh, my wife's going to kill me, y'all. This stuff's on the hood of her car. I've done a couple videos where we do like a drone tour of the farm. It's hard for me to ride with the camera and show you. Uh, I need to get an online like map or something together at some point, but I think it's neat to to make a bit of a mystery. You know, we'll tell you where we are, and you'll see different scenery and different places on the farm. So, uh, and it's just ever changing, ever evolving. So at some point, yes. It's from TF says from one vet to another. Thank you for your service. I appreciate that, buddy. Chad from North Country Off Grid's going through some stuff with uh, local legislature. Uh, there's a lot of uh, things going on there in Idaho. A lot of the rules that are going on with Chad, uh, I, I think he showed a video today or yesterday about uh, you, you're not allowed to camp on your own property for longer than 120 days in a year. And that's the same way it is here. So we couldn't come up here and, and put a camper up and live in it. Uh, that's the same way it is here that, you know, that's that's your tax dollars hard at work. So somebody voted on that cat on the tripod again. <laughs> we'll just bring you in. We'll bring you in on this dog wants to fight the cat off of me. You think you could chill out a little bit? Who? Let's see. Say hey. Hey everybody, my name's Trouble. All right. <laughs> Arkansas Pilgrim in the house. Mapquist.com, pull up your farm and map it out. I can, man, but you know, to be honest with you, my privacy is important to me too. So do I want a map of the full farm? For floating around for you know whoever wants to pull up here and try to find a way in and steal my stuff no i don't i don't really so if we do a map it'll be like cartoony map um go away please dog is pointed nose pointed right at the cat <laughs> how are the puppies says gary s uh we just sold two more of the puppies today i do believe we have two females left so we have two female German Shepherds left. Yep. Wife's doing good, Michael. I appreciate it. My friend Steve is texting me. He was supposed to come help me work. I hurt my back last night uh, picking up a dog crate. Not fun. Brian Diaz, how much was your land cost? I. What am I supposed to... I mean, how much does your land cost? How much does your house cost? How much does your car cost? Be rude. Let's... <laughs> Uh, land around here isn't as expensive as it is in Sacramento, California, but you know it's probably the cheapest place in the nation to buy land right here where we live in the in the uh, North Carolina Virginia border area near Martinsville, Virginia. Uh, the, these places were booming; they were wide open before this whole free trade thing came along, and everything moved to China, and a lot of the mills got shut down. Um, Miller Brewing Company used to be right here in town, and they closed down, so. Land isn't very expensive around here, it's, but you know, you still got to pay for it. You still got to pay interest and you still got to get a loan and we're making payments just like everybody else. Living that trailer dream, baby. We live outside. We sleep in there, in the trailer. How many acres? We're close to 200 acres, Ashley. You want a bunch of narwhals? What is that? Setting up camp. On a cheap piece of land they could find. I don't want, yeah, I don't want that. Uh, thank you, Andrew. I appreciate it. When are you cutting hay? When you're cutting hay, who's flying the drone? I am. Uh, that's it. So the drones nowadays have programs on them that we can like tap to fly. So I can be out there mowing 
and I push the button to follow me and the drone can follow me. Oftentimes that's what's going on. The drone will follow me or I can tap it and it'll circle me also, but you have to be sure that you're clear of power lines, poles. I don't know if you guys saw the video with the uh, ABI attachments, folks. Big shout out to those guys. It's super awesome. We had a great time. Also a big shout out to the lane shark folks too. Um, I crashed a drone first thing that morning, ran it into a, a hickory tree, just boom. So the new drone has sensors on the front and the back and the bottom and the top, but not on the sides when I'm flying it. Uh, I just bought, Kyle Wood says, I just bought 45 acres, less than 3,500 an acre for whoever asked in Alabama. Land's cheaper than that here in most, in, in most conditions. Uh, now, what we bought our land for and what we made our land into are two different things. So, you know, when we buy land around here for, you know, it goes anywhere from $2,000 an acre to $5,000 an acre. It just depends on, on where you are. Um, but when you do that to it, it's not $2,000 an acre land anymore. Ashley Stone. Da -da -da. I heard it's not good to bale hay when it's dry. Well, it's okay to bale hay when it's dry as long as your baler doesn't have bad bearings in it. And the bearing in the baler, it absolutely annihilated itself. It just came completely apart. The uh, roller in the baler was going blink, 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 blink. So it just completely came apart. Check out Millennial Farmer. Yep, I've seen Millennial Farmer. It's not my kind of channel. I mean, I I watch him once in a while. Nice guy, good guy. I just, that's just not my thing. Um, I, It's just not my thing. I, I enjoy it. I, I enjoy what he does. I think it's cool what he does, but I don't watch him very much. I'm not subscribed to him. I hate to say that, but uh, I have reached out to, maybe, I, maybe it's him I've reached out to. Maybe not. A lot of the folks I reached out to uh, on our farm stock 2018 trip where we toured around the country. And at that time we had about 85,000 subscribers. We jumped over right when we went to visit Doug and Stacy. Uh, no, when we were at Chad and Shelby's North Country Off Grid, that's when we broke the 100,000 subscriber mark when we were up there in Idaho. So we drove from North Carolina to Northern Idaho. We drove over 8,000 miles on that trip. Um, a lot of the folks that, uh, that we asked to, uh, to go see, evidently, you know, we weren't big enough for something to that effect that, that we, we couldn't go see them. Uh, the, there are channels that we've, that I've passed on subscribership. Um, and I don't know if they, I don't know. Some people just don't want to work with other channels, I guess. So. Maybe we'll get out to Minnesota Millennial Farmer this year. That'd be awesome. We were featured in some articles together um, on uh, Bloomberg and a lot of different farm magazines. So mosquitoes are bad this year. They're eating me up. You see me swatting? <laughs> so anyway, I hope maybe Minnesota Millennial Farmer is in here. That would be cool. I'd love to go out there. I'd love to see what his operation is. I'd love to get in a combine with him. We don't have a combine here. We don't, this isn't big ag. And I think he's, I, I would call it big ag. So, are you connected with other local North Carolina farmers? How is the, how is the community here in North Carolina? Ask Austin. Not really. I'm, I'm not really connected. I've got friends uh, that farm, but around here, uh, there, there aren't a whole lot of people that I'm connected with that are farming. I am going to be reaching out to some chicken farmers that are local here so we can get some chicken litter to spread on the farm to help fertilize the grass to help build pasture. So, uh, Laura Marshall says, how many different pastures did you fence? We've got, it's kind of, it's kind of a loaded question. So the way we fence our fields the one that's behind us right here behind the house we fenced in it's probably 28 to 30 acres something like that a perimeter fence that we put around now we'll break that into different paddocks and different sections of fence over here on the other side we fenced half of the pasture over there now we've gonna we're gonna fence more of that so we did about a mile of fence on that side and a mile of fence back here on this side so two large 
large places. Are you interested in hemp? Says MJ. I have a theory on hemp. And I... I <laughs> do I even want to say it? I've got a theory on it. And people are making money at it right now. And it's wide open. It's the newest thing. It's the greatest thing. I got a theory that hemp in three years is going to go... <laughs> because it, everybody's into it. And I don't want to plant hemp. And I don't want to grow hemp. And I'm, I'm not... I'm just... I don't, I don't have the equipment or the time to do that. I'm trying to build a farm with animals here. A cattle farm. Uh, we're going to have chickens. We're going to have pastured poultry. We're going to have eggs. I'm trying to build something to help support the two closest big cities to me. Three closest, really. The Raleigh-Durham area, Winston-Salem, Greensboro, High Point area. So that's what I'm trying to support. Okay? That's what the goal is here. I'm in Gainesville, Georgia. Where are you? We're in North Carolina, buddy. Cows are coming in the winter when the prices are low. Thank you, James Robinson, for asking, answering that question. Can cows eat hemp? I think cows can eat hemp. I know cows can eat sun hemp, and we planted a bunch of sun hemp back here to help build the soil. Uh, it, it provides a lot of biomass per acre. Did it grow very good? Mm -mm. It didn't do very good. It's just the way it is. People keep texting me. Hemp takes all the nutrients out of the soil, says AJ. Yep, so, you know, if you're using hemp products uh, for whatever, the CBD oils or whatever it is that you're using, just make sure you're getting good stuff. So, Gary asked, when will you get cows? Uh, question just answered just a second ago. We're waiting until winter time when cows are a little bit cheaper, but soon, very soon. Like it, I've got a few hours worth of work to do on the fence up here. We do not have a water system in place, so I've got to figure out a water system. We're going to have to move water for our cows. We're going to have to move water <laughs> for the cows. Uh, Hamilton Farms, Richard Wilkins. I'm in the Rolling Hills Park. Okay. Should we call the police? I'm that guy that's always in heat for our cows. Ooh. I'm near Fayetteville, says Richard. Awesome, man. Not too far away, about two and a half hours, three hours ago. Do I have a problem with black willows? widows, says Doug E. Not really. I don't have a lot of like spots that are good habitat for black widow. We do have some big old garden spiders, those ones that do like the Z. I forget. I think they're called a common garden spider. I welcome those. Come on. Stay here. Stink bugs. We got stink bugs all over the place. Uh, do you guys have a stink bug problem at your house? The little stink bugs uh, attack your house at certain times of the year. Do you like dirt track racing? Ask Kevin Jones. Yeah, man. I don't like anything racing. I don't give a crap if it's two turtles, two grasshoppers. <laughs> uh, stink bugs bad in Colorado. Okay. So so they're everywhere. Mosquitoes are real bad. There's some mosquito-borne illnesses out there right now. So stink bug mania here. Okay, Mike, that's good to know. Spiders are not allowed at North Country Off-Grid. It's funny. North Country Off-Grid, you know what, Chad and Shelby, you know what you guys need to do? Is a live stream overnight with just your camera playing the sounds at North Country Off-Grid at night. When we slept there... Uh, we stayed in their camper when we went to visit, and the sounds at night at North Country Off Grid are just gruesome, fearsome, crazy sounds, man. Your kids are used to anything. They cannot go to a haunted house and get scared because, man, there are just like, woo, just all kinds of noises, pigs and stuff, man, and goats. Ah! It's just nuts at night. It really is. It's it's. It's a fun place. It was just a fun place. If you guys aren't subscribed to North Country Off Grid, check them out for sure. I hope I didn't offend you. Call the wild, brother. There you go. <laughs> We're going to get Chad from North Country Off Grid here to help me build a cabin. And I'm going to have to go help him build one. I tried to call him yesterday because we need to get him some primitive tools. And there's a lot of primitive tools here for building cabins because... Most of our tobacco barns and tobacco storage buildings were built in the, in the beginning of the century and they're all hand-hewn logs. They're all built by hand. So the people cut the logs down in the woods and, and used a 
two-man saw, cut off the ends, and hand-hewed the logs. So there's all those tools are, are out here. Um, I'm going to grab a tool. And we're going to give something away. We're going to give away a pair of bibbed overalls. I'm going to grab a tool, and you guys are going to tell me what it is. And the first person to get this right is going to get the pair of overalls. Stand by. I can't find it. <laughs> That's a bummer. Well, it's an old tool uh, for <laughs> people are guessing. Lost tool. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, man. Well, can't do anything about that. First person to tell me what model John Deere tractor we have, we'll get a free pair of overalls. You, um, so, go. Go. Mm, 5065 says Hamiltonville Farm. That's the right answer. 5065. We got a John Deere 5065. Uh, so, shoot me an email. Go to stonyridgefarmer.com. Shoot me an e email. I know you've e emailed me before. You're a channel member. So, we'll get you set up with a pair of overalls. Uh, easily enough, let's go on and get uh, a super clean prize pack for the first person that said 5065E because that would be correct also bc gritner 5065e shoot me an email buddy and we'll get you a super clean prize pack buddy it gets a hat a shirt uh and some super clean stuff it's gonna be good stuff good time that's the same stuff they give away at the racetrack so most of the time they'll do a, a giveaway we went down to the racetrack with super clean probably two months ago and had a good time those those folks are really good people you guys that, that are still guessing it's over it's over bruh <laughs> okay so the next question that will be a giveaway we'll give away some stuff here we have got to do another super clean giveaway and if you want a chance to win again another pair of liberty overalls we are going to do a giveaway over on facebook and we'll announce that giveaway next week you just got to go over to facebook and follow us and leave a comment leave a comment on the on one of the recent posts uh two most recent posts we just did if you guys are just joining us right now we got new shirts that are coming out these are the two most recent posts life's better at three miles per hour support veteran farmers and don't touch my willies <laughs> Woo! so go over there leave a comment and we'll pick a random winner from that for sure uh to win a pair of overalls now uh we just bought a kubota rtv we are making payments on a kubota rtv uh, first person to guess what model that RTV is. It's the four-seater model. You can Google it, whatever you got to do. It's the four-seater diesel model. Uh, and that person will win a super clean prize pack. Let's give away some stuff. What breed of cows are we going to get? Says Gary S. Most likely, and we'll get a black Angus cow, buddy. Yep. I'm going for the full name of it, the full numbers. So it's a X... X X What's the numbers? Come on. And X put X whatever the numbers are. Come on. Come on. It's not an RTV 1100. Not an XTR. X. No, somebody's close. There we are. Frank's Adventures X1140. Now, this is the first time that I see the first person I see that gives the correct answer. So, Frank's Adventures goes stonyridgefarmer.com. Shoot me an email, buddy. We'll get you hooked up. Uh, we'll, we'll get you some super clean stuff. So, what's to come? This week, we've got to fix the baler. I've got to put that together. We've got some videos with the Ventrac boys. They came to the farm a couple weeks ago and showed us a new product that, that hadn't been released yet. They released it. It's an extra large, I call it the monster mower. It's an eight-foot 
mowing deck. So we did mowed a few swipes here and mowed out in the yard with it and had a little bit of fun. Uh, that video is going to come out and we're helping out a neighbor uh, this weekend on the, on the video. So it's, it's going to be a pretty fun time. Pretty cool time, guys. Hopefully I can get some more stuff out before that but if not we'll have the weekend videos and i've got to fix the hay baler when the weather gets cooler we've got some fencing stuff coming and we're going to be uh farm fence solution is having a uh, fence building competition and we're gonna get there if you guys want to come and see us we'll be in indiana uh for you'll have to go to farm fence solutions to figure out the dates farmfencesolutions.com has the dates for the fence building competition and will be i'll be at uh homesteaders of america conference and you can google all this stuff that'll be next weekend i'm speaking on both days both friday and saturday at the homesteaders of america conference that's a pretty good time i uh, get to meet some cool people so doug and stacy will be there joel salatin will be there uh, a whole lot of fancy youtuber folks will be there uh, who else oh Justin Rhodes and family, they'll be there too, so it's good stuff. Zachary Salastrom has asked me four times, are you still nursing? I'm still a registered nurse. I'm not in the hospital as much as I was, buddy. I'm about full time up here. Pond update it says, Mr. Purcell, pond is running through the pipe. It's doing very, very well. We've got a big pile of rocks, and we're going to throw the Ventrac out there with the new bucket attachment on the Ventrac, and we're going to be spreading some rocks soon. So... At least he remembered my name, says Doug and Stacy. I'm going to make you a moderator too, man. <laughs> uh, did we miss the pond update? Just updated on the pond. How's the weather down there? Weather's hot, man. Hot, hot. Puppies are good. So it's about time to end this thing. Do it. Do it. <laughs> Thanks. That, that's got to be Doug. It can't be Stacy. That's Doug. <laughs> Guys, thanks a lot. Uh, I appreciate you coming to the Stony Ridge Farm tonight. If you want to, pick up a shirt. Another shout-out to my buddy, Daniel, at Arms Family Homestead, wearing his shirt. Dutch, keeping it Dutch. Big shout-out to you. I can't find your shirt. It's buried in the drawer somewhere. I blame Mrs. Stony Ridge. You can blame Mrs. Stony Ridge. I'm not blaming her for anything with the broken arm, because I might get a cast to the head. <laughs> Guys, thank you so much. No 1984 Chevy C1, C30, you... If you were blocked, you wouldn't be able to leave a comment. I'm sorry. You're not blocked, buddy. You're not. Well, crap. Somebody said, Dennis, the hose jockey, says he's late. I'm sorry. You're late, buddy. We're leaving. But we can all hit the like button on the way out. <laughs> Good stuff. Hey, just wanted to say howdy. Hope you and Mrs. Stony Ridge are safe. Thank you, Dan. 280 people watching. Yeah, good old boy. Tell them. Don't pound that like button. I've got 156 likes over here on my end. Morton Building, question, question. Brochure is in the truck. Money, money. Saving money. Paying off our land before we build our house. That's our goal. That's what we're trying to do here. So we're going to live that trailer dream until we pay off our land. That's it. Thinking green. <laughs> Guys, thanks a lot. We'll see you later. Folks at one, go to stonyridgefarmer.com. Everybody check us out. Follow us on Facebook. If you want to enter to win, pair Liberty overalls. If you're not on Facebook, you had your chance to win a little bit earlier, and we're going to give away more. Don't you worry. Thanks a lot, guys. We'll see you next time on the Stony Ridge Farm. Everybody give me a big old woo.